looked at the information I just said, yeah, this is exactly right. Then even Minnesota Public Radio did a fact check on this information about three months ago, said, yeah, you know what? They needed to admit it. Al Quist is absolutely right, all right? So this is the reality. So married couples, private insurance, have a choice of three things. They can sit there and be subjected to extraordinary discrimination against married people and pay the cost that most middle-income people can pay. By the way, this is targeted to middle-income married people. Remember all this, uh, you know what, about Obama saying he wasn't going to tax the middle class? Yeah, right. Okay, so they can pay the exorbitant fee, or they can divorce and live together on marriage, or they can drop their insurance. Three choices, all bad. Now, what's the agenda? I'm not going to say anything about what it is, I'm just going to give some facts. All right? Married people are much more likely to vote Republican. Bingo. Single people, especially single women, are much more likely to vote Democratic. Am I suggesting this is related? No, I'm not suggesting that. All I'm doing, all I'm doing is giving you information. Might this be calculated for the sole purpose of keeping one ideology, meaning the hard left, in power? Not a chance. So what you've got is not only a marriage tax, you've got a massive income transfer. How many big businesses, and I'm, you know, I'm a fan of big business. How many big businesses were out there lobbying against Obamacare? None. None. You know why? They're the winners. They're the winners. They will pay far less. Guess who's paying the bill? Middle class married people are paying the bill. And I assure you, middle class married people can't afford the bills that are in this bill. Now on top of that, 2.6 trillion added to the national debt. That's the latest estimate. And isn't it interesting these estimates keep going this way? Kind of like agriculture, big crops keep getting bigger. <laughs> All right? So, I mean, if we allow this bill to go into effect, ladies and gentlemen, we have lost our country. Period. We cannot let that happen. And I hate to say it, but I've only scratched the surface on how bad this is. Okay? You want to talk about euthanasia? Well, the way it works, folks, there will be bureaucratic panels who will decide whether you can be treated or whether you can't. And the medical community, the doctors and the nurses, will be prohibited by law from treating you if you don't meet the guidelines of the bureaucratic panel. It's all about rationing. It's all about control. It's all about one party and one ideology that is all about keeping itself in power. I assure you, it is not about the welfare, the well-being of the United States of America or its citizens. Am I making myself clear? Yeah. I know, I know that uh, uh, Chris Mills has got a deadline and he's got to get on the road here. So what we're going to do is uh, I hope you will join me in, in thanking them for any of our other speakers tonight for their participation right now. Come on.
I mean, I'm passionate because I have grandchildren, I have children, and I want them to have a darn chance like I have. You know, I'm yeah. that bloom and doom. The reason those polls are off is because they got a stack in a disproportionate way with Democrats when they poll them. So don't be discouraged. They want you to be. I, uh, I would just say this is where I go. If I could say one thing. You know, um, I'm kind of new to this whole topic. There's no way I can't the council. I'm state to state. And so I've looked at this. I've taught emancipation of American government, politics, economics. So I've been on both sides of this now. If you want to win, folks, I mean, you know, the brought up, the FBI brought it up with, uh, with the, uh, what's the Minnesota, the Messinger, or uh, Lion Messinger. Oh, Lion You gotta, you know, it's tough. You know, you, I'm sorry, but you gotta donate. I mean, my wife and I have taken it. You know, uh, I'm taking a point eight leave to do this. You know, because it's that important. And you gotta give. You gotta, you know, I know it's kitschy, but uh, what President Obama does with skip a meal or whatever the, you know, do this, have a garage sale, whatever. You know what? Sorry, guys, but that's what we have to do too. You know, this has gotta be your hobby for the next 47 days. Walk the neighborhood. Don't go on the blog. You know, I know, I know you, some people blog. I'm not saying, so good, keep blogging. Where's the blogger? I just talked to her. Where is she? Where's the blogger? You got to keep blogging, but then go out and, and meet independent voters, too. You got to go take those hangers around the community. You have to go talk to people. And then we have to be able to get on the radio and TV and, and, uh, and win that middle. I mean, so that's what we have to do. So we, we don't just go to the places where people are who are going to, you know, we're always the same. You know, we, we go with, with uh, uh, Doc Severson is helping us out. We go with uh, campaign in the Somali community, the Ogden community, the Hmong community. We're just down on Lake Street campaign in, in the Hispanic community. You, you have to go to places. Go up to CD8 and get into the aid with Chip Cravat. That's what we do all across the state. We're, we're trying to fight in the middle. But what we need are other conservatives or Republicans to bust their tail and turn out and vote. And, and hey, we're all on the same team now. Okay, so you can't get, you know, squirmy about one or the other Republican candidate. You understand what I'm saying? It's, it's two sides right now. There are two clear decisions, not only for president, but at Sen U.S. Senate, Congress, at the congressional level, state house, state senate. There are clear decisions to be made, and you need to lock it down, help rally the base, and then go win the independents. And that's what we need to do. It's that simple. Make phone calls. Walk neighborhoods. Donate money. That's what you have to do. So Pick up a yard sign on the way out. That's right. You gotta take care. All right. Uh, I think Alan Twister will remain here for a while. He's in the back. So if you've got more questions, and thank you for coming. Alan.